Did you see that intro? It was awesome. Turned out really good. They I did think. a good job. I think somebody made it really cute, though. Aubrey. Aubrey, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Definitely the best part. So we are back with episode four. Quattro. Episode four. We are doing the top ten things to do in Magic Kingdom. And before we get started, we have to have our coffee. Oh, Magic flip Kingdom. Around, flip it around. Oh, the- <laughs> Magic Kingdom mugs. Dad and get oh. close to the camera, but mom mug. Still getting used to it. I wish it had like newbie on there somewhere because we're eight months in and we're doing good though. Okay. Top ten things in Magic Kingdom. Let's get right into it. I am going to go first. I'm starting off because it's number ten. So there's a lot of stuff to do in uh Magic Kingdom, but I'm starting off with a carousel of progress. Really? Yep. After like going crazy in the park all day, there is something about those rides that are very like low key, hang out, and I like the history, you know, behind it and showing the future and stuff. I think that because it's one of wasn't it one of Walt's favorites? Yeah. Um, that makes me kind of appreciate it more. I do like just sitting down and chilling. And I think relaxing. the best part of that ride is just trying to find the hidden Mickey's. That's true. So we do like to do that. Yeah, there are some hidden Mickey's. There are some hidden Mickey's. We should make one every podcast somewhere. It's a good idea. That is a good idea. All right, so that's my number 10. What you got? My number 10 is one of your favorites. My favorites. It's a small world. (laughs) It had to be on the list somewhere. It's definitely not a top ride, but it's a classic. You have to ride it. You have to ride it. (laughs) I mean, most of the time, the wait is only 5, 10, 15 minutes. And the wait is low. And I, I, w- I would admit, if the wait is low and, you know, people in your in your family that want to ride it, <laughs> then, then go. And if you've ever been on before, it's a it's a good ride. It's a classic. If, if you've never experienced it. You have to experience it at least once. Um, right here, I'll show a video. Now, in that video, I got that video with the hippo. And it's a small world. Remember, it's when I was shutting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just saw that video. They need to update the animatronics a, a little bit. Um, okay, so two slow rides to start it off. I am going to continue on the slow ride trend and go to the railroad, the one that goes around Magic Kingdom. Yeah, that's a good one. That's We've only been on that. A handful of times. We don't ride it often. Normally when we go, it's down. It's down, and then we're just still used to being like... Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> that it's hard to take a minute and, you know, relax. Which, as we get older, I think will be more... Appreciative. Appreciative to sit down and ride the railroad. Like, Come on, Aubrey, let's go ride the railroad. Don't you want to sit down for half an hour and ride the railroad? <laughs> That's my number nine. My number nine is Monsters, Inc., and I would definitely especially recommend if you were going with the bald guy. Every time. Because they get picked out every time. I am picked out. The butt out of the jokes. Every time. You know what? This was not prepared. Do I have... Every time I go there, I don't think I have it like readily available. I should have prepared it. I know. Oh, wait. Yep. <laughs> oh, because he's green. It's a green oh, wait, you there can we go. See it there, yeah. <laughs> I was that guy many times. I was that guy at the left floor, and this is the first time I've kept a sticker. I mean, I've gotten a dozen of these things. Yeah, but it's a good ride. Sit, sit down, get some air conditioning. It's funny. It's funny. Yeah, their their jokes are actually really. They're good. Really good, and you know, it's when always you, different. Yeah, when you get in there, the line can seem like it's crazy, but it's really not. Uh, okay. I'm doing a last minute switch. Well, yeah, really? I had it at, this at eight, but I'm I'm changing it because I forgot something very important to me. So I'm gonna go with the Transit Authority People Mover at eight. I don't have it on my list. Oh. I just looked at my list and I was like, wait a minute, how can you not have the People Mover on eight? So my list goes from chill day at the park. And it gets increasingly more intense. Um, so, people mover. 
That's a good one. And the cast members, shout out to you. Thank you so much. You always do a good job at like not sitting us here in another family in the same cart in front of us. Yeah, but we also don't go in the summer. That's true. If it's mid July, might be different. If you go in the summer, cheers to you. <laughs> You're a different kind of breed. I, I I can't do it. There's no way. No way. We have to go. Well, we've been every month except July and June. Yeah, we don't really go in the summer. But it's good to catch the people mover when the fireworks are going. Yeah. Right. If you're not watching the show and you've already seen it, jump on the people mover. And people watch. Yeah. You can see a lot of cool stuff. You can see <laughs> a lot God. of things there. <laughs> well, especially when it goes inside the rides. I like that part of it, too. Yeah, when you get to go by, people go up space and they're zipping by, waving at you. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Watch people in Buzz like you're. That's fun, too. I didn't put Buzz on my list, either. But that's okay. Mm. That's what, okay. We're on eight. We're on eight. Buzz Lightyear. No. <laughs> I have it on my. I don't have it on mine because I'm just too good. Because you always lose. I always win. You always lose. I always win. I have video proof or photo proof of the last time. I have photo proof of a max score. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> yes, I do. And how many tips did you look up before the ride? Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Maybe I'll give a video one day on how to max score your Buzz Lightyear ride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If there you care. There are a lot of tips and tricks <laughs> you can much. share. Um, okay, so Buzz for you. I can't oh. believe it didn't make your list. No. It's... And when we go to the park and we do it once, and now the line, the line to ride ratio on Buzz is insane to me. I mean, even Wait, just hour. getting if you, in if line. Get, if, if, are we taking lines in consideration or no? No. Well. Just getting into boom. line and seeing the giant Buzz Lightyear that's in there. That's cool. Like being a Toy Story fan. Yeah, but I'm a I'm a Woody fan. Buzz came in and disrupted the whole ecosystem of the toys. So I'm not a huge Buzz fan. I like Buzz. I'm team Woody. So... I'm team Snake in my boot. <laughs> Buzz was the enemy at the time. All right, Haunted Mansion, number seven. Haunted Mansion, chill ride. The best chill, out of the chill rides to me, the best of, like, the slow-moving rides. Um, yeah, uh, one thing that uh, is, is really cool that I listened to not too long ago was that I didn't know that as you're going backwards in the ride, mm -hmm. that's to signify you're falling out of the window. Yep. And then once you get down, you're dead. And you're part of the ghost. Can you name a hidden Mickey in that ride? Can I name a hidden Mickey? Or should we ride? make another video on hidden Mickey since no. we keep going? Well, we should make a video on hidden Mickeys, but I can't name one in there without. Let me let me think. I know there's some in there. I just off the top of my head, you got me stumped. What you got? You do some research. No, Where I've at? showed you before. Where? When you're riding past the dining hall. And they're all dancing. If you oh, look on the long table, the, table, the plates, right? The plates are in a Mickey. Yeah, yeah, the plates. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That guys, if, if you are veterans at Disney like us, where we just been so much, that's the kind of stuff that helps keep it fun. Yeah, and fresh is you're on the haunted mansion for the 500th time in your life, and you get to look around and try to find these hidden Mickey's. There's still some we can't find. Uh, Tower of Terror. Yeah, we had has it on carpet. Hard time finding that. The cast dark. member tried to help us last time. They couldn't could get it. Yeah. <laughs> the last time we we're on Haunted Mansion, we did get stuck for quite some time. So. Oh yeah, we were stuck for like twenty minutes. And we had Aubrey. Yeah, we had our baby, four month old baby, on the ride, stuck. It's a BA. <laughs> <laughs> the timing. Um. <laughs> okay, uh, it's my turn, right? Yep. I'm on, what are we on, seven? Yeah. Pillar Magic. No Whale is my seven. That's one of my favorites. That's one of my favorites, too. The classic Disney movies. They added, they just added in um. They did do Coco? some up updates. Added in Coco. Encanto. Encanto? That was Coco. Encanto? Huh. I thought it was. Is it Coco a thing? Yeah, Coco Melon. I don't know. We're not really too much up with the new stuff yet because Aubrey's so little. Yeah, we're trying to get there. Right now we're on the baby bumps, and now we've... I want to start Bluey, I think. 
Yeah. I think we'll Blue, Blue Leaf Bird is an awesome show. Okay, well, we both had to fill our magic, so that's another good thing thing to do when you're just trying to chill out and relax. Good show. Okay, I have one on here that I have never really taken the time to appreciate fully. And that is the comedy entertainment show Dapper Dan's. They're always performing. Mm-hmm. We always hear them. We always pass by them. We rarely stop to like really Check listen to them. And I put it on mine because if this is a top 10 list, even though I haven't really taken the time to appreciate it, neither one of us have, um, all I hear about it is that it's awesome. Sure. So if you only have one day at Disney and you're speeding over to Space Mountain to try to get on the ride and they're out there singing, take five, 10 minutes. So just check it out. Check it out. Next time we go, I'm going to try to really get us to just listen. They do it too at um in Halloween. They're on top of the, you know, where you shoot the little things near Space I'm not, not near Splash Mountain. They have a little range yeah. where the Jamboree Bear is and all that stuff. They're on top of that building, usually singing in all, all their um, Halloween outfits. So I want to check that out one day. All right, so make it to number six. I got shopping at the Emporium because we know I'm a shopper, and it's the largest gift shop in all, Magic Kingdom. All the rides and attractions. And Emporium makes what? What number is Emporium for you? Six. Number seven. The list. <laughs> <laughs> I do like shopping at the Emporium too. I'm not gonna lie. If if it's if if I'm there, I'm looking for a coffee mug. Disney, bring back the dated coffee mugs. Yeah, Please. I don't really do it much anymore. Like this this mug's awesome. It's a standard dad mug, though. There's no dated mugs. I mean, my last one is from 2018. Mm-hmm. They don't date them anymore. How am I supposed to keep track of when I was there? <laughs> really, that's how we used to do it. It was just buy souvenirs. Buy when them. did we go last? What's the date on this mug? Oh, 2010. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of mugs. But the seasonal merchandise is always the best. You want to go to the biggest stores. And definitely the Emporium's one you want to hit. Yeah, you would like couple of the live YouTube channels that just every day go shopping at the Emporium. Yeah. To let you know like what's new and stuff like that. That's like right up your alley. I'll probably never see you again. <laughs> Pay me the shop. <laughs> Pay your shop. The Emporium though is is fun. Um so we're on to what was that for you? I just did six. I just did five. So you have to go again I guess because we, we skipped something. That's okay. Well, we both had fill our magic, I guess, and then I continued. Yeah. So you do your next one too. Um, number five for me is the haunted mansion. Okay, and we we talked about that with mine. Hmm. It's kind of high up for you though. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. That's one of the ones that if you're gonna these ones next, I think the top five are if you're in Magic Kingdom for the day, and it's packed, and you can only make a few rides. I think the next ones for us are like what you should definitely try to get on. Like a must do, yeah. Absolutely. Because like everything so far, arguably skippable. I think what's weird to me about the Haunted Mansion is that the movie actually came out after the ride. Did it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they made a they made a ride and then a movie. And the movie was not that good. Well, you're referring to the old Eddie Murphy one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't tried the new one yet, but the, the first one was not that good. I heard the second one wasn't that good. <laughs> All right. So, so far, I, I would say our list is very skippable if you have no time and it's packed. But from this well, point on. No. It depends. If you're going there once for every, like, five years or something or ten years, you want to make sure you get on the classic rides, too. Yeah, I'm saying Haunted Mansion included, but from Haunted Mansion on. These rides are like you can skip Dapper Dance, you can skip Small World. You can, no, don't skip this one. You can if, if you can't make <laughs> it. Yeah, I can't stand Small World. So, coming in at number four for me is Big Thundy Tundy, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Can't skip that. Not a skippable ride. Can't skip that. And I've heard the argument before. Well, if you, if you had to choose, you're going to probably ride Tron, you're probably going to ride Space. Uh, before you're going to get on Big Thunder Mountain. But there's nothing like, I mean, waiting in that line, 
Disney does a great job with keeping you occupied as the line moves. Yeah. Right? And you get to do the whole TNT explosions. You get to watch the ride. I mean, there's all kinds of cool little decorative stuff in there to look at that, that when you get to run through and it's five minutes, you don't get to see. And try to get on the last car. Yeah. We always ask for the back. In the back. The only problem with Big Thunder Mountain is that by the time you reach the top, if you're in the front, it goes down, down, slow, slow, slow. You're almost at the bottom of the hill. It releases, and then you just kind of glide down. Or the back, you get like whipped over the hill. Yeah. So it's definitely more fun that way. I agree. But Big Thunder, shout out to my mom. Her number one ride on all time for her is Big Thunder Mountain. If you're not a big roller coaster person, this kind of threads that, you know, walks that line, right? Of, okay, I can handle this, but if it was any more like Tron or Space Mountain, can't do it. Yep. My number four, too, was actually Big Thunder. Right. Right. All tied up. Now, if you're bigger, like I'm 6'3", 285 pounds. I'm not a little dude. I know I look like I probably am ripped and chiseled like Zeus. But I'm a little thick. I'm a little thick side, right? So far, all these rides, no big issue with, with, with getting on. True. What I'm about to get into, we're gonna have a bit of a, a bit of a struggle. I should come forward a little bit because the background's blurring you out. So <clears throat> next up for me is Tron. Tron. I didn't even put it on my list. Tron is a great, a great ride, especially when you compare it to all the other Magic Kingdom rides. I mean, it's probably the biggest thrill ride at yeah, Magic Kingdom, I right? Agree. Where where here we have a park that doesn't have a lot of thrills, more chills, right? <laughs> Shout out to our old name, Magical Thrills and Chills. Um, <clears throat> but I would say that the problem with Tron is getting into those carts. If you're built like five, six, 130 pounds, no problem. You're good. You fit on it, no problem. And you're 5'10". Yeah, but it wasn't the most comfortable. So if you're built like me and you're this gorgeous, it's going to be tough. And the only tough part was my calves. Yeah. I fit everywhere else, but that there's a bar that slices right into your calf muscle to keep your legs in place. And were you behind me? I think Brandon was. So my brother was behind me and said that my calf looked like it got cut in half, that I had a bar four inches into my leg. And I don't have fat legs. No, you like don't. Like my legs aren't fat. I mean, I really, I'm a martial arts instructor, so I've, you know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in decent shape. And cut right into my freaking calf, man. And I yeah. was like, get me. I mean, immediately I said to a cast member, unlock this thing. But they had a cart in the back, which I love sitting in the back. Yeah. So I sat in the back. Was I alone? Yeah. Yeah, just chilling. So sat in the back of the cart, back of the uh, train while it went on. And and problem with Tron, though, done. Yeah, two seconds and it was over. Instantly done, so. It was fun, but it didn't make my list. Well, I made mine because I thought it was fun. And as far as thrills go, I mean, you're reminding me of the Hulk from Universal. Uh, you blast out over the crowd and you can see all the people. Yeah, like the first few seconds of the ride was it's, the it's, best part. It's insane. And then you're waiting for something else like that to happen, but it just never does. And it just ends. Yeah. Number three for me is Space Mountain. Space Mountain, my number one. Wow. I thought Big Thunder would have been your number one. No. No. You got to remember, though, too, uh, all the years, every time you turn, the background freaks out. Is it for me? No. Um, so how many <laughs> How many rides have I, at the end of the night, just tried to constantly... Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on. Two, space, space, three. Is, space is the main one where I'll run through the queue. Run it through the queue. Used to be Splash. This. <laughs> our seat. chairs are rubbing together. Move your seat over. Ooh, I don't have it. <laughs> now, <laughs> Splash is number one in our hearts for sure. I mean, this. If you made the list two years ago, three years ago, 15 years ago, 
splashes at the top of my list no matter what you add to the park. Yeah, I think it would still be like my number three. Well, I'm taking the soundtrack to Splash and I am blasting it throughout this whole ride when we go back because zippity doo dah, zippity day is not going anywhere. <laughs> and now I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm actually happy that um, the new Bayou ride kept the whole track the same. It looks nice on the outside so far, what they did. Yeah, it's the a lot, greenery. A lot more bushier and stuff like that. That's yeah, yeah. green. It does look nice. I'm glad that if I just close my eyes and listen, I'm back on Splash Mountain. Yeah. So all you Splash Mountain lovers, not not everything is bad. You know, they could have torn apart the whole thing and put in something completely different. So I am glad they kept the same nostalgia. The same ride, essentially. All right. What are we on? Number two? Yeah, and then my number one's gone. I bet your number two is the same. It has to be. Pirates. Pirates. What else did we say? Favorite ride. I mean, the most immersive ride besides probably Tron. But even with Tron, you're outside a bit of the time. Once you step into Pirates and past the uh, cast members at the top of the queue. You're in there. You are in Pirates. That I always just wish that one time I would go and Johnny Depp would be on the ride. I'd never see you again again. You know, maybe that's it. No. So... Pirates is one of those rides that's so important to us. And you, before I even met you 15 years ago, you were a huge Johnny Depp and Pirates of Caribbean fan. Yep. And we loved it so much that that was our daughter's first ride. We, first ride. we decided, you know, if she's going to ride anything first, it's not going to be small, small world or nothing like that. It's going to be Pirates. Yep. And she did awesome. I was worried about the drop, but she did good. She did great. Pirates. So... My list is done. I've gone through everything for me. You got um, one more left? My number one is, of course, Happily Ever After. But I said it's got to be the fireworks. It's got to be the fireworks show. It's going to be the fireworks show. Nothing beats Disney fireworks. You got that right. The, it's. I haven't really liked fireworks shows until Disney. And then my favorite one so far, can you guess? I'll be so impressed if you can guess it. My favorite fireworks show ever. We're going to test... We're going to test the wife knowledge here. See. Our last fireworks, the ones with Aubrey. No. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure then. It was my first time ever seeing, like, insane fireworks show. And that was our New, New Year's Eve. celebration in 2010, yeah. going into 2011 <clears throat> over at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, that was a good part. I was show. mesmerized. Could have been halfway drunk. <laughs> but because they were selling... They had Captain Morgan and Coke stands the everywhere. Bars, yeah. And if you know me, that's my that's my thing. If you got rum and coke, you're in. I'm in. So when I saw that all over the place at Hollywood Studios, we were having a great time. And we were um, oh, males here. They're just gonna check the door for us. Um, if you, yeah. So for me, the fireworks show at Hollywood Studios was was incredible. And obviously, Aubrey being the first, you know, first fireworks show was cool too. But me personally, that was my favorite. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was good. So, I'm going to have to go silence these dogs. I can continue if you want to go silence them real quick. Hold it. It's all right. Think it's fun? Hopefully, it's not bothering you guys. So hopefully, you can't hear them. <laughs> But I don't check it out. See what's going on. You want me to? All right. So I would say that if you were going to plan your perfect day at the park, and you can only fit in a few rides, that I would do Space Mountain, Tron, pirates. Big Thunder, Pirates would be the main things. Definitely. And if you want to chill out, get on the People Mover, go to the laugh floor, take a train ride, right? Yep. And then at the end of your day, when you're tired as hell, check out the fireworks show. And don't forget the Emporium. Yeah. The Emporium <laughs> way out. Fight through. <sighs> fight through and get, the get your souvenir, souvenirs. man. Yeah. Get your souvenir. That's the thing, too. You're wandering through Main Street. Okay. Don't get bullied around here. <laughs> we don't get bullied around here. Right? Now, you got to be respectful, but you also can't get run over. People will run you over out there. They will, for sure. 
Remember that fight almost got into the parade? Yeah. Oh, my God. So, how would your perfect day look? About the same? About the same. About the same. The, the fireworks usually have two times. Two time slots, right? Something around 5, 6 o'clock and then end of the day. Also, something I want to mention, then we'll wrap this up, is there is a thing that I found very interesting. I've heard it before when we were there. I didn't know what it was. It is the kiss goodnight. You know what that is? No, I don't. The kiss goodnight, I don't know if they still do it. We'll have to pay attention next time. It's a mini light show. Um, I'm trying to get this where splash isn't phasing through me. I know it's part of my heart, but um, it's a mini light show at the very, very end of the night when the park is closed. It's on the castle, and they play a little bit of music. It's like a 30-second thing. So where do you see it from? I mean, you got to be at the castle. Huh? You have to be in the park, though. You in said the, park. the park's closed. Yeah, like, it's like, you know out. how it was when we rode Splash Mountain, right? And we walked out, park's closed. Yeah. So people are still there. It's just... When it hits that time, obviously at midnight, if the park closes at midnight, everybody's not gone. Everybody's trying to get out of the park. So if you really pay attention, they do a quick little, like, good night thing. I've never seen it. We'll at least check. that's what – I've heard it before. I'm not sure if they still do it. COVID changed a lot of things, so maybe they, maybe they stopped. Okay, guys, that's the top ten things to do at Disney, but not just Disney and Magic Kingdom specifically. Um my closing thought is you can skip it to small world. Okay, guys, have a good night. <laughs> All right. We will catch you on the next one. We are probably going to cover um, my Disney experience in Genie All Plus. Right. I got a feeling that'll be a solo video, though. I don't know if you're going to want to sit here for me explaining all that. What do you think? We'll see. <laughs> all right. Don't forget, too, if you're looking to get some help for free, contact me. Contact her on. Kimberly at MagicalTravel.com. Yep. If you want to get some free help planning your next trip, hit her up. She's crushing it right now. Pretty dang good at it, I'd say. All right. Well, have a magical rest of your day. Tackle this Monday, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.